Transplanted hearts have traditionally been limited to those from donors after brain death. However, a shortage of suitable donor hearts, coupled with advances in machine perfusion technology, have led to consideration of transplanting hearts from donors after circulatory death. A new trial provides needed data comparing clinical outcomes with both types of donor hearts. In this multicenter, unblinded, randomized control trial, 297 adult heart transplant candidates were randomly assigned in a 3 to 1 ratio to receive either circulatory death donor hearts or brain death donor hearts, whichever was matched to the patient first, or to receive only brain death donor hearts. Circulatory death donor hearts were reanimated, preserved, and assessed using extracorporeal non-ischemic perfusion, and brain death donor hearts were preserved using cold storage. A total of 180 patients underwent heart transplantation. 90 received circulatory death donor hearts, and 90 received brain death donor hearts. The primary endpoint, risk-adjusted six-month survival, was 94% in patients who received circulatory death donor hearts, and 90% in patients who received brain death donor hearts. The utilization rate of circulatory death donor hearts, a secondary endpoint, was 89%. The average per patient number of serious adverse events associated with the heart graft was low in both groups. The incidence of moderate or severe primary graft dysfunction was higher in the group receiving circulatory death donor hearts. The authors conclude that in patients undergoing heart transplantation, risk-adjusted survival at six months among patients receiving circulatory death donor hearts was non-inferior to survival in patients receiving brain death donor hearts. Full trial results are available at nejm.org.